Bon appetito. I hope you're hungry because we're serving up the best of Dine Out Vancouver today on the Express. Oh, that smells so good. Woo. Cooking capers at Coza Tuscan Grill. It's not my fault. It's wonderful. With two kids, our budget is really allocated. Date night at Bridges. Try that. Made that skin nice and crispy. It's the passion, it's the love, it's the it's the simple food. See restaurants new head chef. She's coming and do the rolling. The Dine Academy at Quince. Pinch it together and twist it. You can learn something so that you can take it away and cook something half as good for yourself sometimes. See that and more local expression. Welcome to our Express Dine Out Special at the Cosa Tuscan Grill in Langley. Italian, Asian, West Coast, even French. Variety is one of the big draws of Dine Out. It's also really popular with busy parents on a budget. And up first, we're taken along on a date night with a couple that's going out to dinner for their first time in six months. Michael Jenkins and his wife Edie are the proud parents to two little girls under the age of three. It's really busy. One, you think you're busy, and then the second one is like 10 times busier than one. Anybody who with two kids can attest uh, that the, you don't find a lot of time together. <laughs> but tonight is date night, and the babysitter is ready to take over. Just a couple of last minute instructions. Just writing down the phone number on the fridge for you, okay? And they're off. So we're heading out for Bridges tonight, which is our first time out without the children in a long time. The Jenkins have decided to take part in Dine Out. Good evening and welcome to Bridges for the two of you tonight. Well, this is the ninth year of Dine Out and we've been uh, proud to participate at Fred's from day one. And it's a great opportunity for us to showcase our second floor dining room. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. You're welcome. It's wonderful because, you know, with, with two kids, our budget is really allocated. For uh, Dino this year, we'll have a three-course menu for $38. It's a good incentive for the people to go out and spend some money and, and uh, enjoy some uh, good food. We have the Cedar Creek Merlot. It's three courses. They have a selection of three appetizers, three main courses, and then two desserts. And we also pair them with special VQA wines. This year's Dine Out menu at Bridges includes braised short ribs and crispy skinned rockfish. It was a very uh, elegant presentation with a cream vegetable, broccolini, a uh, very nice light sauce and, and uh, uh, perfect for a three course meal. Here, try that. The last time my husband and I have gone out together was August 8th on our anniversary. We have gone out separately, but somebody's always had to stay home <laughs> with the kids. The time that we get to spend together, we much prefer spending with our kids, but having a special night out like this is a real treat. And a chance for the busy parents to have their cake and eat it too. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Vancouver for The Express. Cheers. Cheers. Bridges is reserving their entire upstairs dining area for people doing dine out. Now, it may be called Dine Out Vancouver, but the choices aren't limited to Van City. There's a Burnaby and Beyond category that extends all the way to the Coza Tuscan Grill here in Langley. Tuscan cooking, for those who don't know, really, it's Italian, but it's a different style of Italian. It's like peasant cooking. Very clean, crisp, simple ingredients put together with a remarkable flavor outcome. So the open kitchen concept has been developed here. It's new, literally kitchen in the round. It's the stage. So to Hannah, you ready for my sous chef? Oh, am I ever ready? Okay, <laughs> my question is, are you ready? <laughs> come on in. Mad scientist is kind of the way I cook, actually. Come on, Johanna. We're waiting. <laughs> We're trying. We are making a medallion. This is the garlic cream sauce? Yes. Oh. Woo! <laughs> okay. I think I just might hire you. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, first step, you will take the tomato sauce and 
put it on the bottom here? Yes. And I just pull these guys out? Yeah, pull these guys out and um, arrange it nicely. <laughs> arrange it nicely. OK, it's open to interpretation, Jessica. Not bad, Johanna. And a little messy, but we'll clean that up after. Finale. Mm -hmm. Just on top? Yeah, just on top. Make sure Ooh. that the tomato sauce still shows. Oh, OK. We're going <laughs> to put this into the salamander. OK. And I'll do that for you. Dinner is served. And what's on your plate, chef? This is our chicken reggiano. And what do you make? This is the vegetarian medallion, which looks delicious, but I'd say you win in uh, points for presentation. Well, just a couple. Yeah, just a few. Dine Out Vancouver, this is our third year. So we've been involved in it since we've been open. It represents great value, I think, for the guest, for the consumer. It gives us an opportunity to showcase our restaurant and our menu to people who maybe have not dined here before. I think this deserves one of these. Mwah. You know? Yes, yes, for sure. And now we just should eat it. I know it's probably against the rules to eat when I'm in the kitchen, especially as sous chef, but it's so tempting. Anyway, a little bit later, Chef Jessica and I are going to whip up a Dine Out dessert, which leads us nicely into our next feature. It's something new this year with Dine Out Vancouver called Dine Academy, where foodies can eat and learn choices. So I use the oyster sauce right here in this mixture. I'm just going to give it a little shellacking on either side here. As soon as that you add the minced garlic, you've got to deglaze with a, with a liquid right away to make sure you don't burn and it. And I cut the stems off. I started with a little bit of vegetable oil in the wok. Chef Andrea Jefferson is taking her students on a culinary adventure through China. Tonight's class is uh, theme for the Chinese New Year this year for the Year of the Rabbit. Over, over, and over. So you're going to be doing that with the dumplings too, right? Here at Quince, the dine out experience is more than just about eating. It's about learning at the same time. I went to Chinatown, I went to Dollar Meats on Pender. We're doing three dim sum dishes. We're doing the steamed pork buns, uh, shu mai, the little pork and shrimp dumplings, and also spring roll. We're going to be serving the jun mai nama. Quince is a boutique food shop with freshly prepared meals made in-house. In the evenings, it turns into a culinary studio. And for Dine Out, Chef Andrea put together some Asian-inspired classes. So you've also got a little envelope beside you with a little fortune cookie there. Two of the classes are by demonstration only, which works very well, I think, for Dine Out too because the price is good. They're very competitively priced and people come in, they learn something, they sit down in the kitchen, they watch them, basically the show from start to finish. Why don't you come in and do the rolling? and then I'm gonna show you the filling. A dino event great for a couple of friends or couples. To give you a perspective on how the local ingredients are used and, and um, the craftsmanship that goes into what you're eating. Sort of like that? Yeah, something like that would be good, yeah. Okay. Unfold again. Maybe you can learn something so that you can take it away and cook something half as good for yourself sometimes. And then we go up, fold, fold, fold. Part of it is a chance to let people know that we're here. Still five years later, people don't know that uh, where Quince is and you know they, they may have heard about it, but they don't quite really quite know what it is that we do. I want to reach out to people and also it's a chance for us to do something a little bit different as well. Create a little bit of gluten in there to give us some structure to hold. Audience participation is always encouraged. Pinch it together and twist it. Because here at Quince, there are never too many cooks in the kitchen. We pinch it together and we twist it and we push it down like that. And that's it right there, huh? In Vancouver, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. Indian bar snacks, Bangkok street food, just a few of the options of classes Quince is offering running until February the 1st. You can get details at quince.ca. You're watching The Express. And we've got more international flavors from Dine Out Vancouver coming up. Look that skin nice and crispy. After the break, West Coast meets the world at Sea Restaurant. Taking the beauty, the bounty from the sea, the oceans, the local farms. Baru Latino's global flavors. Ceviche and shortness. Thank you. You're watching local TV on The Express.